my pretend pastry kitchen. I'm Emma and today I'll be showing you how to make this chocolate peanut butter braided babka. It is a brioche dough braided with peanut butter and chocolate fillings. So delicious. Look at all these layers. Let me show you how to make it. To start the dough, we're going to combine one cup of whole milk heated to 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. That way it's hot enough to activate our yeast, but not too hot where it's going to kill it off. And then we're going to mix it with two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast in the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment. Then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes after mixing it on low just to combine it real quick until it's foamy. Once your mixture begins blooming, meaning colored bubbles rise to the surface and it looks a little bit foamy and bubbly on top, we're gonna add in two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a cup of melted butter, which is also eight tablespoons. Then we'll mix this on medium low speed until just well combined. Now we'll add a quarter cup of granulated sugar, three and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, and one tablespoon of salt. We'll mix on medium-low speed with the paddle attachment for about one minute until it's all well combined. And then we're going to switch over to the dough hook attachment and mix for four minutes until we have a smooth dough that forms. Then we'll turn it out onto a floured surface and shape it into a nice dough bowl before we let it rise for an hour. After about a minute of mixing with the paddle attachment, the mixture should be homogenous but still pretty sticky, get stuck to your hands and the sides of the bowl. This is when we're going to switch over to the dough hook attachment and start kneading the dough. We're going to knead on low speed for about four minutes now. Once the dough starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl and form a dough ball, it might even start to throw your mixer off balance a little bit by having a heavier weight thrown around the sides. That's when you know it's done kneading. Then we'll pull it out of this bowl, turn it out onto a floured surface, and shape it into a nice dough ball. Then we're going to grease a large bowl so that we can let this sit and rise for an hour. Once we've greased our large bowl, we're going to put the dough in it, then give it one flip so that both sides are coated in the grease, and then cover it with a dish towel and set it aside in a warm, dry place for about one hour to rise. It should be about doubled in size when it's done. Once we're done with the dough and it's sitting aside to rise, we're going to remove the dough hook, clean the bowl of the stand mixer and the paddle attachment so that we can reuse them and put those back on the mixer. Now we're going to make the peanut butter filling, which is just four ingredients. We need two thirds cup of powdered sugar, two thirds cup of creamy peanut butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. We're going to add them to the bowl of the stand mixer, mix them on medium speed just until smooth, and then we'll transfer it to a small bowl and set aside to use for later. Once 
Once your peanut butter mixture looks like this, it's super smooth, we can transfer it to a small dish and then set aside and clean the paddle attachment and the bowl one more time so that we can make the chocolate mixture. To make the chocolate filling in the bowl of the stand mixer with the paddle attachment, we're gonna combine half a cup of melted semi-sweet chocolate chips, half a cup of softened unsalted butter, three quarters a cup of powdered sugar, a third a cup of cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna mix it on medium speed until smooth and then set aside just like we did with the peanut butter mixture. Once your chocolate mixture looks like this, you can set it aside and we'll grab our dough. Before we start the next step, we're going to grab a 10 inch round spring form pan. It basically just means that you can release this latch and the bottom comes out so that we can super easily remove the baked goods. Now we'll set this aside and then lightly flour our surface and turn out our dough. We can start by punching it down and then pulling it out of the bowl. Then we're gonna use either a knife or a bench scraper like this to divide it in half. Set one half aside for now. You can cover it to keep it nice and fresh while you're working on this. Now we're gonna roll this out into a rectangle about 20 inches by nine inches and we're gonna spread the peanut butter filling on the inside of it, leaving a half inch border on one side so that we can roll it into a log lengthwise and seal it on the edge. Now we're gonna grab our peanut butter filling and spread it along all of this except for a half inch right up front here. Now start at the opposite end from the empty border and roll it up lengthwise. Now use that border to try your best to seal up the edge here. Set this aside and repeat with the chocolate filling and the other half of the dough. two filled loaves. This is my peanut butter one and this is my chocolate one. We're going to use the knife or the bench scraper from before and cut down the middle of them leaving one inch at the end so that they don't come apart completely. Now take the cut side so the middles and turn them upwards towards the ceiling so that you can see the layers in there. And once you do that to both, you're gonna kind of stack the ends there and then gently twist both strands over the other. So twist, make sure the centers are face up and showing and gently twist and continue till you get to the end. And then you wanna pull the two ends together 
and try to kind of seal them together to form a circle. Then we'll take the springform pan that we greased earlier and gently lift this up into it, cover it, and then let it rest for 30 minutes. So it looks like that and cover it with the dish towel again. Leave it in a warm, draft-free place. While our babka is aside and resting for 30 minutes, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna prepare a simple egg wash to put across the top before we throw it in the oven. The best way to brush it on is start with the peanut butter sections and then the chocolate sections to keep the color sections nicely separated. So to make the egg wash, I have one tablespoon of water in here and we just need one large egg white. After brushing on the egg wash, bake your babka at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 55 minutes until it's perfectly golden brown and cooked through. But halfway through, at the 25 minute mark, put foil across the top so that the top doesn't get excessively browned, but the inside still cooks at the correct temperature. Babka cool in the pan for about 12 minutes and now we'll pop this outer layer off and then transfer it to a cutting board so that we can slice it up. After allowing it to cool completely, use a large serrated knife to slice up the babka. And there you go. Enjoy! And here is our finished peanut butter chocolate braided babka. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you try it out. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what you want to see me bake next. I can't wait to bake with you again. Bye!